Millionaires and billionaires are drowned in the luxuries of a plane. Take a look. Thrones, gold seat buckles and a concert hall. These are some of the breathtaking things that you see inside the gloriously opulent private jets of the world's richest, including a princess flying palace, Trump's $100 million plane and Jackie Chan's Embraer SA Legacy 650. It's a long flight from Saudi Arabia to Lake Abdi and Bees or Monaco or London and what's a Saudi prince drowning in petrol dollars has got to do? Buy a custom flying palace naturally so that no moment passes without the comforts of home. Flying Palace Duck the Flying Palace, this is said to be the world's largest private jet and is owned by billionaire of Saudi, Prince Al-Walid bin Talal bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. Take a look at the Flying Palace. Designed by a British firm, Design Q3, the Super Jumbo has cost the Prince about $485 million on the custom Airbus A380. The jet has a seating arrangement for 600 passengers. With all king-size arrangements made, the Prince and his guests are expected to enjoy a 5-star treatment. exactly how one can explain what life living like a king means. The palace has an onboard garage. This has been built so that the prince can be driven right to the threshold of the airplane's elevator. When the prince's car is parked, a lift drops to the tarmac and a red carpet unfurls with down lights. According to Design Q3's co-founder, Gary Doy, the whole idea of the lift dropping to the tarmac and a red carpet unfurling are designed to give the impression of turning up at the Oscars. plane has a master suite which has king size beds and a computer generated prayer mats which always face Mecca to welcome the prince soon after his arrival. Take a look at its interiors. Aren't they wonderful? The plane has been designed to have three floors. The belly of the A380 has been turned into a relaxation zone with four poster beds. The biggest jet has five suites which form the owner's private quarters. They all have king size beds, entertainment systems, a private office, a guest area and a lift that shuttles between floors on all three levels. From the private quarters upstairs, down to the concert hall and to the garage below, the lift shuttles between the plane's three floors. The transparent circular cell lowers onto the tarmac at the owner's private entrance. Each suite has a Turkish bath lined with marble that is 2 mm thick to keep the weight down. The palace has a boardroom with eye touch screens and live share prizes are projected onto the tables. For conference calls, a business partner on the ground can be virtually projected onto the table to join a meeting. There is a full size hammam steam room lined with 2 mm thick marble. There is enough space for four to sit comfortably. It has a concert hall that contains a stage with 10 seating arrangements and a grand baby piano. The most entertaining perk is a well-being room. This is a very special room as an enormous image of what the plane is carrying over can be seen on the floor thus creating a magic carpet effect. Guests can stand on the carpet and watch the journey with the scented breeze blowing into the room. The Flying Palace has been built with a style that has elegant curved and swirls of Arabic writing. It has been designed to have a grand floating staircase which forms the centerpiece of spacious entrance hall linked to the boardroom. This is thought to be the first spiral staircase on a jet. The swirling metal creation is set in the spacious hallway linked to the boardroom. Around 20 sleepers that are equivalent to the first class seats have been arranged exclusively for extra guests. The flight is also believed to have a missile defense system and will be powered by Rolls Royce. 
Trent 900 engines. The palace is supposed to accommodate two Rolls Royce cars and a number of horses. It has been learned that the Super Jumbo was supposed to be delivered this year to the Prince, but in the second half of last year, the Prince sold the largest place to an unknown person. Details were not disclosed because of confidentiality agreements between the parties. Even if the Prince has sold his private jet, doesn't mean that he is not the richest. He still manages to be in the list, holding 95% of the kingdom. Trump's 100 million plane dripping with gold. If you have got it, flaunt it and Donald Trump certainly did that on 19th of August 2011 by releasing a video tour of his amazing $100 million Boeing 757. Presented by the beautiful Amanda Miller, who appears on his hit reality show, The Apprentice, the video gives us a three-minute glimpse into his presidential suite on wings. Decked out in his trademark black and gold livery, the plane is a shrine to decadence. A stunning composition of elegance, extravagance and sumptuousness, the $100 million jet is a triumph of sheer luxury and wealth. The plane is a riot of 24 karat gold from the sink and faucets in the master bathroom right down to the seat belts. Inside is a private bedroom with a huge flat screen TV, a work desk and a console that triggers the electric shades to the room's oval windows. The bedroom has something every New Yorker cherishes. Closet space. There's one for Trump and another for his wife, Melania. Nearby sits a private bathroom with a circular shower and enough gold detailing on the sink and faucets to make King Midas jealous. The cabin area features rows of plush white seats and cushy cream-coloured couches that surround boardroom tables or face flat-screen TVs. Trump refurbished the craft after buying it for $100 million from Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen in February 2011. The high ceilings are covered in pseudo while refinished wood panelling runs along the sides of the plane and gold leaf detailing makes the seatbelt buckles gleam. The jet is a Boeing 757 which will comfortably seat 43 of Trump's family, friends and employees. Lest anyone forget who's right they are on, the plane is now adorned throughout with Trump's name and family crest. Jackie Chan's Legacy 650 Last year January, actor Jackie Chan was named brand ambassador for Amber Jets. So what does that entail exactly? The martial arts star popped down to Brazil to toast the airplanes and get one of his own. In his action movie, Jackie Chan flies through the air suspended wires. But he can now fly his own bird in even better style. Jackie's Legacy 650 executive jet was brought from Brazilian aircraft manufacturer Embraer and its exterior has been specially customized for him. The plane has his name painted on the tail and its body is emblazoned with a yellow and red insignia of a pair of slender intertwined dragons, a toast to Chan.
Legacy 650 is almost 27 meters long and boasts the largest lavatory of its class, slightly less than twice the size of an economy class toilet on a commercial airline. It also has the largest in-flight accessible baggage compartment in the market at 8 cubic meters. About the same volume a large dump truck can hold. The plane has plush cream seats all fully reclinable for a good night's sleep as well as a couch. Passengers can move through three seating areas with different configurations, one of which is an ideal dinner setting for a group of four. Guests on long trips can look forward to refreshments prepared at the plane's fully equipped wet galley, which has a coffee machine and a chiller. They can also surf the internet by connecting to high-speed internet via Wi-Fi. Jackie's Bird is powered by two Rolls-Royce AE3007A2 engines and the cabin is padded with noise insulation material to drown out their sound. With four people, the jet has a range of more than 7,000 kilometers, which means it can fly non-stop from Hong Kong to Adelaide, Australia. Jackie Chan is the first Legacy 650 user in China and he's now a brand ambassador for Embraer. Embraer, the third largest commercial aircraft manufacturer behind US company Boeing and Europe's Airbus, is capitalizing on Chan's star power and appeal to tap into the China market.